Good evening and welcome to my another play series. Uh, this time we'll play, be playing a game called Iron Brigade. It is a World War I first person shooter tower defense hybrid similar to Dungeon Defenders um, if you've played that game <clears throat> through Steam. Uh, my brother and I, it took us a while to get uh, into the game because it required our very old Microsoft Live accounts and I actually had to go around fishing for that information. So it took us a while to set up. Um, I played a mission or two and now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and start presenting this to you. Um, for those of you that have seen the movie Edge of Tomorrow starring Tom Cruise, uh, this game has a little bit of remem remind me of that with the creatures involved and just the way that they are. Um, and I'll get more into that later. Uh, but for now, let's, uh, let's get this game going and uh, check out Iron Brigade. The enemy crushed my legs, but he couldn't crush my spirit. And he couldn't stop me from serving my country. I met Farnsworth in the radio corps of the Pacific. Didn't talk much. We just listened to enemy broadcasts, hoping to hear a code, a signal, anything. What we heard, no one was prepared for. Where it came from, nobody knew. Farnsworth and I were the only survivors. But after the broadcast, we were not the same. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or in our case, smarter. Suddenly, I could create miraculous machines to help the war's wounded walk again. And suddenly, I was the toast of the town. Until people saw Farnsworth's creation. Why walk when you can bring the world to you? From the safety of your own bed, take it all in. Devour the world. Did the tubes drive him mad? Or did his madness use the tubes to escape the prison of his mind? All we know for sure is that the tubes are the plague to end all plagues. The nation requires our service. And so, without hesitation, we return to our trenches and march. The internet is a series of tubes. Okay, so there's a couple of options. Uh, let's go ahead and go... Um, for some reason, I can't click on anything. Um... For some reason, my mouse is not working. My mouse working now? <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure why it's not working, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game. What, are your legs broken? On your feet, soldier. Take that mask off. You'll get used to the smell. Ah, uh, why are my mouse not working? I'm gonna have to clo clo close out of this. Hold on, let me see if I alt-tab out. Maybe I can alt-tab back in. Uh, I don't know what's... I don't know why my mouse isn't working. <clears throat> Let me try one more time. Yeah, I don't know why my mouse isn't working. Uh, let me go ahead and... I can't even escape? Okay, whatever. Okay. So these are different pilots. I'm assuming that they're all the same. Ooh, family man. Loves to sleep with his wife. I'll pick this one. <clears throat> well, we didn't recruit you for your looks. Let's get you ready for action. Son, you are standing in the greatest invention that military science has ever devised for keeping a soldier safe on the battlefield. The trench. The only way to get hurt in a trench 
is to get out of the trench. So we've made some small modifications to eliminate that need. Mechanical legs, fresh water supply, full bar, latrine, cigar humidor, first aid kit, etc., etc. Let me show you how it works. You can start by looking up at the sky. Yep, my mouse is not working for whatever reason. Okay, so... This game's already got a glitch. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna Alt F4. Seems my, the only way to, for it to fix. Let's go ahead and try this again. I apologize for those out there in internet land. Hopefully, technical difficulties will subside. <clears throat> The enemy crushed my legs, but he could Okay, we already saw that. Okay, what the hell? The stupid mouse is not working anymore. Um, I don't get this. Well, I'm saying that it's detecting my mouse. I'm trying to think. So it was working earlier. Give me a second, I'm going to try and canceling my broadcast and see if that fixes it. One moment. Okay, testing this again. The mouse was working half a second ago. I'm going back into the game. Okay, there we go. Apparently I had to um, load the broadcast system after the game was launched, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't change it the next time. Okay, that's okay. Let's go. What, are your legs broken? On your feet, soldier. Take that mask off. You'll get used to the smell. I'm Pyro. I don't take off masks. So I'm going to go ahead and select this pirate pilot. I don't think they make a difference. Well, we didn't recruit you for your looks. Let's get you ready for action. Son, you are standing in the greatest invention that military science has ever devised for keeping a soldier safe on the battlefield. The trench. The only way to get hurt in a trench is to get out of the trench. So we've made some small modifications to eliminate that need. Mechanical legs, fresh water supply, full bar, latrine, cigar humidor, first aid kit, etc., etc. Let me show you how it works. You can start by looking up at the sky. Nicely done. We've got intel the tubes will be attacking our coastal ammo depot. Okay, first thing changing the invert mouse sensitivity I think is good okay yeah. great we'll be marking key assets for you to defend with these green flares you can monitor the integrity of the ammo depot with this meter make sure you defend those assets with your life let's try some target practice now take aim at that fake tube target nice shooting marine Destroying tubes will gain you experience. As you gain experience, you can be promoted to higher ranks. Higher ranks authorize use of better trench equipment. Your guns will automatically reload when you empty them, but you can manually reload them too. Nice work. Don't worry about ammo. We've got more than enough bullets for those two bastards. Tubes. Tubes are the devil. Our intel was right. Here they come, soldier. Is this your plan, Frank Woodruff? To send another innocent man to die in your place? When you could join me today and end all this bloodshed? Well, I too have created a line man with a single-minded desire to spread the broadcast and destroy anything that blocks the sea. Director, fire on those resistors. We're expecting more waves of tubes. We'll be marking their conduits when we detect a tube presence. Barnsworth can send his monovisions through multiple conduits at once. Stay vigilant. 
So I'm just going around collecting scrap. Um, scraps used for resources to build towers eventually. Um, but right now, it just gives you a little bit of bonus XP at the end of the mission, I believe. That's the ticket. Your mobile trench can take a beating, but eventually it'll give out. Check your gauge and be careful. And eventually you get an ability that sucks in all these things so you don't have to manually it pick them up. I may have underestimated your new trench, buddy. It takes a bold man to shoot an enemy that can't shoot back. Lucky for him, I have one that will. May he spread the wisdom of the broadcast. Those Tommies will park off in the distance and attack their target. Get out there and take them down. Good idea to reload your weapon between waves. But yeah, the nature of these creatures, it reminds me very much of Edge of Tomorrow. Just because of the kind of like... The way that they look kind of like... It's hard to describe, like kind of electronic, but not at the same time. Good job, Brain. We're picking up a massive troop broadcast. We won't be able to handle this one alone. I'm coming for you. Ah, reinforcements! Apparently a carrier with legs. Damn tubes. <laughs> Damn Let's tubes. get you aboard. Get off my lawn. <laughs> An aircraft carrier with legs. So it looks like you get weapons that you can put. Uh, so it's similar to uh, Dungeon Defenders where it looks like you get weapons that you can equip. And eventually you can customize your mech a bit more, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, your mission stats to see uh, how much stuff you collected, time, XP, all that kind of good stuff. And then there's achievements for all these kinds of things. So, a progression system. The carrot, if you will. So this is our base of operations. And I think we get to play one more level and then we can start playing co-op. So, as soon as that happens... I had the situation under control. You didn't have to... I'll have you call me sir when we're in uniform. Sir, but, uh... No time for chit-chat, soldier. A situation has developed. We've finally located the source of the broadcast. That's the good news. The bad news is, we're gonna have to fight through one unholy nightmare after another to get there. So let's get started. Thanks to your earlier efforts, the ammo depot is safe. We have to get you back out on that beach. Reports from the front line speak of a new breed of tube, one that's hell-bent on destruction. Don't let them get too close or this ship's going down. And believe it or not, I'm not the best swimmer. It's funny because he has no legs. <clears throat> so that's the mission selection. And then over here is how you can customize your mech. This is your trench bay, Marine. Customize your trench here between missions. I'll recommend gear for each mission based on our best intel and also my gut which is infallible as far as you're concerned. You're free to ignore my gut, but I don't recommend it. Oh, it's talking right now. Can you hear it? It just said you'll want to equip that new sniper cannon on this next mission. Each weapon occupies a specific number of slots on your trench. For example, sniper cannons take up two slots. It'll replace both machine guns on either side of your trench. Now you're ready to launch the mission. Feel free to deploy when you're ready. So it looks like your mech has a certain amount of hard points. Uh, so for instance, a, a machine gun only takes up one, so I can have two equipped on this side. But a sniper rifle takes up two, so you can only have one sniper rifle equipped for this one. Um, and so, and then it looks like maybe you can customize your hero as well, but I don't ha have the ability to do so. So those are the different weapons you can modify. Uh, so I have a sniper rifle, and then I have a light machine gun over here because I have nothing better to use. So, uh, Modify Marine, I don't think I can change anything right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy. And deploy. 
Three conduits have erupted just off the coastline. You'll need to protect the ship as we prepare to shove off. If they breach the hull, we'll never make it out of here. You're not going to be able to hold this beach by yourself. We're authorizing the use of the ship's emplacement cannons. We've deployed some emplacement bases to mark good locations for turrets. Let's get a shotgun turret down on the forward emplacement base to deter incoming tubes. Shotgun so. turret inbound to your location. Each emplacement occupies a section of the battlefield. Keep the boundaries in mind when placing them. So, uh, it works similar to Dungeon Defenders. Um, you can build pretty much anywhere. Right now, they're just outlining where's good spots. Um, so, I'm going to let these guys come to me for a little while. Just because I don't want to kill them, so I can collect this crap later. When you kill tubes, they drop scrap. Collect the scrap, and we can use that energy to launch helpful emplacements for you. Your trench is equipped with a powerful magnet that you can activate to help collect scrap. Nicely done. Makes collecting scrap a lot easier. You'll need to watch our flank too. Get a turret down on the second emplacement base to guard the other side of the ship. Great. I do like that you can reload and loot at the same time. So again, I'm going to wait a little bit closer. Just so I don't have to go too far for the scrap. Anywhere you want on the battlefield. Make sure you're putting down enough to form a solid defense. But yeah, it's pretty similar to most tower defense games. You can upgrade turrets eventually. I think that's the next thing I do after this round. are getting stronger. Let's use some scrap energy to increase an emplacement's efficiency. Good job. Now we're ready. So it shows you the difference. So if I were to upgrade again, it costs 100 TVs or scrap, and then it would go from 36 damage to 66. I'm not sure if it also changes, like, attack speed or range. I think range kind of, if you can tell, but I don't know about attack speed. In the bottom right, the monometer, I think that means how far in the, the map you are, maybe? I'm not too sure, or how strong they are. Woodruff! I must admit your tin men have made me very angry, so I have created a blitzer to deliver my displeasure directly to your troops. Can you see how brightly it glows? Red with rage, Frank! My rage for you! I hate to say it, but this one's coming after you. Don't let it get close. One of them blows up in your face, it could take your whole trench out of commission. I'm not sure what my health is either. Maybe it's that top bar above the monometer?
The eggheads in the lab have been cooking up a new emplacement. The dampening generator. It scrambles the tube's circuitry and makes them slower than trench discharge fluid in January. Use it near your shotgun turrets to slow enemies down in front of them. Ah, uh, good old temporal slow. Uh, so the top bar, it looks like there's a tiny bit of dip. So I'm thinking that that's actually my base's health. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this because they come around this corner pretty well. Like right here. Good job, Marine. And I think I'm going to upgrade it. I don't know if I'm allowed to upgrade yet. Here they yes. Come. Upgrade both of those. Get my little choke point going. Now they seem to ignore my turrets. Like this is the... I played this mission once before. Um, and I'm thinking that this is okay. Oops. Oh good. Okay. This looks like the time to set up our defenses. Oh, sometimes these things get stuck. Let's upgrade you one more time. Hey, and your max here. power. Oh. Uh, my tummies, I think, will be okay. It's this side I'm slightly worried about because I don't think I've done anything. Let's do here. Let's get a dampening generator down here, huh? So that should be okay. Yeah. Nice. So this side I'm not too worried about. You can get a closer look at your enemies if you squint your eyes just right. Oh yeah, so it's teaching me how to aim. And I do like the aim, it's a bit more of a toggle. Which is really nice. So you're upgraded, and you are fully upgraded. I got this. Taste this. Hurry up and reload. Come on. I do like the combat. It reminds me a little bit of Advent I Rising. What can I get you? Get me a cup of tea. Um, yeah, but it reminds me of Advent Rising, where you have two different guns. Uh, that that was a pretty good game if you haven't played it. It's uh, kind of a third person. It's also interesting when you go near the dampening field. I think it affects you as well. Here come some resistors right over there. Almost done with this wave. So I'm thinking that monometer means how far into the round you are. Yeah, I got a gun too. Nice. Okay, so this this is a very good spot right here. And so is this one over here. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade this all the way, but maybe the slow generator. I was wrong, friend. Wrong to attack your man or your sad little deep. Wrong to scrape at the side of your ship like a tiny barnacle. I need to sink that ship once and for all. And I have just the thing to do. His name alone is too technical for you to comprehend. Why don't you just call him Big Willy? Good God! It's... it's a monster! Give him everything you've got, man! Don't let him near the ship! Gotta wait for the reload. Ooh, loot! Loot! Nom 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 nom. So it doesn't look like you can sell anything either. So that's something. This ship is set to sail. Come on aboard, Marine. I, I kind of like the arcadey victory. <clears throat> okay, so we get a gold medal. So it looks like gold medals are based on the base health, similar to most tower defense type games. And I hit rank two, which I don't know what that means. I don't know if it bestows. Oh, okay, it looks like I get money for it. We'll have to see. So I got a flak turret and a shotgun. Cool. 
Okay. Oops. That's really dumb that you can see that on my game. Okay, so I've been told that my audio channel needs a slight tweak. So let me change the sound effects, this, and the volume. That should be better. Oh, there is an option to do uh, windowed mode. You actually have to click on the display. Sorry, I'm talking to my brother. He's right next to me. Uh, so I'm going to turn windowed mode off. And... Okay, so that doesn't completely kill my game. That's good. <laughs> but now I can alt tab a lot better. Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and resume. Um, give me one second. I need to figure out... So I have a friend. So my brother's my friend. I just need to find where he is. Um, uh, games for what? This thing sucks. So I'm online. Mm. Ah, I hate Windows Live. What a pile of crap. Friends. Add friend? Two. Okay, give me a second. Let me try and figure out what his gamer tag is. So, I'm on my friends list and I don't see him on here. I don't I don't understand. Uh, try mine as Mad Cal. I'm gonna try you as Dinadin. Try Zalzan. Oh, wait. That is not me. Uh, off life. Okay, remove as friend. Okay, so it's not by that. Okay, so. Let's try by your email. What's what what email do you use? Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. At what? Um, I don't understand. Oh, I'm Mad Cow Two K. Yeah, you're Psycho. S no. Yeah, you're Psycho Star. So I want to friend myself. No, no, that's your name. So put put Mad Cow Two K. <clears throat> Okay, yay! <laughs> You're from USS McKinley? <laughs> I don't get why. Do I have default name? Maybe it's because this was a throwaway account because Microsoft sucks shaft. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. <laughs> like I said, Microsoft goes suck a duck. Okay. Let's resume! Are we in the same game? Not yet. I need to go. I've been cooking up some new flying monovisions. We've got a new emplacement for you. The flak turret. Equip this beauty to knock his monos out of the sky. You can join up with other marines to take on the two menace together. Stop by the radio room to search for brothers in arms. Or invite your friends directly aboard the ship. I am recruiting a friend. Come, join my game. Oh gosh, that's annoying. 